Okay, so next up in the Stupendous Styles Challenge solution, we're going to tackle navigation uh, and then uh, work on the donut page. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to the button section and add click events for each of the buttons. I want to give each button a name. So uh, we'll set the name of this one to a donut button. And then uh, we'll go um, on the click events. We'll just create a new event handler and then it'll be named you know, appropriately. So let me put all these on different lines. And I like putting things on different lines like this. It makes things more readable for me. Uh, if you don't, then let it go off to the end of the screen if you like. All right, so I'm just going to repeat this process of setting the name. So coffee button and then click equals new event handler. Right, name equals schedule button. Should be good to go there. I want to make sure that I gave the frame a name. I did. Good. Mm. All right, next up, let me go here to the donut button. And uh, whenever somebody clicks it, we'll go um, myframe.navigate and then uh, type of and donut page. Great. I'll just copy that four times and we'll change out the page. And I guess I'll put it here too in the constructor for the page itself so it automatically navigates to the donut page. But uh, here in the coffee button, we want to put it to the coffee page, schedule to the schedule page, complete button to the complete page. And now let's uh, test this. Well, it's going to be hard to know because <laughs> we don't have anything on those pages, but uh, let's go ahead and assume for the moment that it actually works and move on to the donut page. So uh, if you take a look at the comp for this, um, here we go, let's open this up and then take a look at uh, this. You're going to notice that we have the logo, two text blocks, and next to the text blocks we're going to have two slider controls. So uh, this is looks to me like a two by two grid, maybe a two by, th well actually two by three or four grid. We'll want to put a fourth row just to take up all this extra space and force everything and push it up to the top. All right. So to do this, let us go back here to Visual Studio. Let me get this back in the recording area. Okay. So uh, let's do this. Uh, grid. Dot. Uh, I know I'm going to want what one two three four rows so let's go um, row definition height equals auto for all of them except the last one so I'll just copy and paste that a couple times uh, and then on the last one I'll just change that to star sizing and that should push everything up and then we'll go grid dot column definitions and I'm going to create two columns so grid dot uh, actually column definition uh, width equals auto so that'll be for uh, the width of the, the the labels and then we on we actually need to do a star we actually need to do a um, star width on that second column otherwise our uh, slider controls aren't going to look right so let's start with the uh, image for the logo so assets, um, whoops. All right, so let's start with the the logo. So assets white logo png, and then we're gonna go with two text blocks for the labels. Well, actually, let me go ahead and set a. Dot 
row equals one. Uh, I know that the font size is going to be um, 18. We're going to go with uh, the text on this one is uh, original gla glazed count, I believe. I know the color, uh, so the foreground is going to be white. And I know there's going to be some padding. And I'm just going to guess from what I saw earlier that I originally did something like 20, 20, 20, 0. Let's see what that looks like, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so the second of these is going to be um, Speedway Special Count. Kind of going with branding that driving or racing theme. Since after all, they are go nuts. All right, good. Now I need sliders. Grid dot row equals one. Grid dot column equals one. Uh, I know that the maximum is going to be twenty four. Remember that was one of the requirements. And uh, let's look at the margin. Let's go with the same thing as we did with the other one. And I think we're going to be good to go there. Actually, this should be row two here on that text block. And uh, okay there. all right, let's see what we have so far. I know this image is going to be way too large, um, and it's going to be a problem. So let's set the width equal to like 150, I think is going to be the right width. And I'm going to, I know I'm going to need some margin here as well. So let's do um, 20 left, 20, and then 0, 0. Whoa, OK. This is not bad. The only thing is, I forgot to set the background of the grid. So let's change it to red and then rerun it. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what I had in mind. All right, so I think that's that part's complete. Let's go ahead, stop now, and we'll pick it back up in the next one, which should be the coffee page. It's going to be a little more involved.